Hello YouTube fans, this is the Scott Brown here to review Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Now, without further ado, let's get started and find out why the King of the Monsters is so goddamn fucking epic. So, let's talk about the cast. The cast, Steve, first we got Steve Martin. No, not that Steve Martin. Not the famous actor Steve Martin. That was before he was born. Wait, actually, no, he was 11. Yeah, he was 11 when Godzilla King of the Monsters came out, I think. That's why I heard. So, the guy that is playing a character called Steve Martin, that is kind of crazy. And kind of hilarious. But anyways, there's Steve Martin, um, let's see, um, Hirito, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, um, Dr. Serizaga, and Emiko. These, I know there's another character, Emiko's father, I'm not going to talk about him too much, but the only thing you need to know that is that he doesn't want no one, he doesn't want nothing to happen to Godzilla, and he thinks that they should study Godzilla. So that's it. Um, and, um, Hirito... And Emiko are like a thing, and Doctor um, Serizawa and Emiko used to be a thing, so they're kind of friends now. And obviously, they're literally the um the actors are actually really good. I look, I watched the Japanese version Gojira, and I'm watch and I watched the Japanese version. I mean, I watched the Japanese version and the English version. Obviously, they're both different, but they're similar also. Um, the only thing, difference is they added American actor Steve Martin, and it's funny because Godzilla 1954 came out in 1954, but when the movie came out in the United States, it came out in 1956. So yeah, two contrasts of different films that look oddly different. Yeah, you 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 can see that. You might say that's a flaw in the movie, but that was back then. So I mean. Doesn't matter now, and never mattered to begin with, to be honest. So, the movie starts basically, it's just like, it starts with a big explosion, and it's like, what the fuck just happened? And everyone's trying to find out what, what's this, what happened, what's this creature, all of a sudden, they're saying, it's Godzilla, this ancient monster that's been living for millions of years, has finally, he's back, and everything like that, you know, it's Godzilla, it's Godzilla. And then every, every scientist, even Steve Martin, is right behind them. Watching Godzilla, you see Godzilla's footsteps, you hear his Godzilla's presence. It is just amazing. Godzilla is literally the star of this movie. And every time they, when they first show, showed him over the mountain, that was cool. And most people might be like, oh, he looks like a puppet or something. Yeah, they use puppets, stop motion, and animatronic. Yes, they use all of that. But who cares? It still looks good, and at least it doesn't look fake. Like, oh, I don't know, Godzilla 1988. Oh, I'm sorry. Zilla. 1988. 1998. There we go. Keep mixing up my dates. Godzilla 1985 is actually a good one. And yet we haven't had that DVD out in America yet. Why is that? Come on, Tri. Come on, Tri Star. Come on, Toho. Get with the progress here. Where's Godzilla 1985? Where is that? That's I would actually like to see that. So, haven't seen that one. But um, this this first Godzilla movie feels amazing. It is what you want in a Godzilla movie. The cast is great. Steve Martin in the in the English version does all right. Um, but if you seen the Japanese version, you feel more connection to the Japanese characters than anything. The English version. You really don't feel none for the characters, to be quite honest. Even if you did put an American actor there. You just care about the fucking monster. In my opinion. That's how I felt with the English the English version of this movie. The Japanese version. It made me felt that I cared about the characters more. And then when Godzilla showed, it was like an icing on the cake. You know? With the American version of this, it is like... The icing on the cake is more icing on the cake than we wanted. You know, you're just there to get icing. You're not there for the cake. You know? 
So that's kind of disappointing in my opinion. That's one difference from the American version and the Japanese version I, I like to talk about, to be honest. Because I'm not saying that the English one is terrible. No, it's still a good movie. So is the Japanese one. It's just the Japanese one is better. But the English version still holds up. I, I like how they do. Um, I mean, obviously, if you watch the Japanese one and the English one, and you watch it both simultaneously, you can tell which is which. What is... What what's what's the difference between which and one? What they cut out and what they put in. So overall, this movie is freaking crazy. Godzilla, Godzilla fucking breathes fire at people. Where do you see that in any Godzilla movie? No other Godzilla movie but this one. And then this one feels like a really tragic Godzilla movie. It felt like Godzilla was a hurricane, a tornado, a stoppable force that was ready to happen. Man made Godzilla. Basically, you know, and it's it it's all faults that we made him, and now he is destroying the city because he's pissed off or hungry or trying to feed another monster. I don't know. I, I I'm not Godzilla's head. I mean, for kind of loud, he has two brains: one in his head and one in his ass. One in his ass. They didn't explain it in this movie, but they explained it in another Godzilla movie, which I'm just like. In his ass. In his ass. That is fucking... What were you thinking? But Godzilla's roar... Godzilla's roar is amazing. It is just hands down amazingly awesome. And... Again, I think I cited it before. The cast is great. And... You can pick what you want, the original, I mean, the original Japanese one or the American one. Hey, whatever you pick, it's still a good movie, nonetheless. And you still going to get your Godzilla, you know? You see Godzilla destroying the city, and it's just a flame of, flame of wall of fire. It is just amazing how when Godzilla destroys the city, great effects. I love the effects, to be honest. It still holds up to this day. Godzilla, black and white, looks scary as fuck, and he looks freaking bad ass. Hands down. He looks badass. He looks epic. And we might get that again with Godzilla Resurgence. The way he looks, I actually like. Most people might make fun of him, yes. But overall, I actually like what he looks. And... This Godzilla look, I love it because uh, if you look, if you look at the Japanese DVD and you look behind the scenes and everything, they tell you the making of Godzilla, and obviously Godzilla's head is like a mushroom cloud because it's like the nuclear bomb. It's it's Godzilla's head. That is fucking cool. That's badass. I actually like that. And yes, they kind of did that with the 2014 one, but not to the full extent. But they're doing it to more of the Godzilla Resurgence one. But, um, yeah, that is, um, before I finish off with this review, bef after that, um, obviously they're trying to find out how to kill Godzilla, and Emiko and Dr. Serozara, well, Dr. Serozara tells Emiko he has something that could kill Godzilla, the Oxygen Destroyer, and he shows Emiko, and Emiko's just like, oh my god, like, shit. And obviously he tells Steve Martin, she tells Steve Martin and Hiri, um, Hirito eventually, and it's like, how come he didn't bring this up all of you, bitch? Fucking millions died already, and he could have done this a while ago before Godzilla went to the city. But no, he decided, hey, hey, you, you know what? It's good, it's, it's good you kept quiet, Emiko, because if you didn't, we would have never would have got that epic, freaking awesome battle that we got with Godzilla versus... The clock tower. Literally, Godzilla rolls at a clock tower. To be honest, I know he's an animal, but the way they did it, I actually loved it. He's like growling at it and he just like <laughs> tails that shit up. Oh, fuck. I love Godzilla in this movie. He is a massive of destruction. He does not give a fuck. Now, the thing is, I'm kind of disappointed that the, I wish there was more action scenes that you see. In this cover right here, you think it's it's all epic in it, and it is. This cover is epic. I love this cover so much, and it looks epic. And then when you when it's about to happen, it's like yeah, and then Godzilla goes back to the water, and it's like, oh, okay, 
And then after that, we don't see Godzilla again until they have the oxygen destroyed and they use it. And Dr. Zerazara and Hidito go into the water and Dr. Zerazara doesn't make it because he wants to die with his walk. Because he doesn't want no one. He doesn't want no one to take his walk away. Mainly because if someone took the oxygen destroyer, they can use it for evil. So, good thing Dr. Zerazara was good. He decides to kill himself for it. And then after that, that little crab monster that was in there became the Sejoya! And then killed Godzilla. Well, actually Godzilla killed himself, technically. Mainly because Godzilla, the only way Godzilla can die is either from another monster or himself. Because obviously, his heart is fucking... Is, 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 his heart is a nuclear bomb! <laughs> okay, he, he feeds off of that. He loves it. He loves the taste of it. And seeing Godzilla dying in this movie is kind of sad. Don't get me wrong. And, and Godzilla vs. Justice Joya, it is, it's more sad there than it is here. But here it's tragic, mainly because Godzilla is, is an animal. And it's not his fault the way that he is. It's our fault the way that he is. And it's our fault that we had to kill him for no fucking reason. It's true. And most people are like, you're taking this probably a little bit too far now. If Godzilla was real, most people might want him dead, yes. But if, if he was a force of nature that no one can stop, let nature take its course. He will wipe us all out and we'll be fine. <laughs> Literally. I mean, Godzilla is there to take nature's course. So we all fought. Remember, man is evil. Nature's good. Blah, 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 blah. Which... I always loved those in movies, except for when they hammered it in. This movie doesn't really hammer it in. It just basically says that this is what would happen if we fucked up. <laughs> this, that's, all, that's all it is. So, it's nice. I love the effects. The suit to this Godzilla, I love. It's one of my favorite suits of the whole Godzilla franchise. So, that's just me. And I highly recommend watching this movie if you're a Godzilla fan. If you if you just want to get into just if you just want to get into Godzilla, literally, if you just want to get into Godzilla, don't watch any other Godzilla movies, but the very beginning, because you will get a taste of what Godzilla is, and you will respect Godzilla more. You will, you will get respect Godzilla more. Now, this wasn't my first Godzilla movie. My first Godzilla movie was Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. And I fucking love and adore that movie to death. It is what a Godzilla should be, you know? And then when I first saw this for the first time, I also loved it. Because it is what a Godzilla movie should be, you know? So, that's just me. If it was a standalone Godzilla movie, if we just had all standalone Godzilla movies, which maybe probably be boring. But we had some. We had, I mean, 2014 was not going to be like that. I bet a lot of people thought 2014 was going to be like this. To be honest, I would have loved to see that from 2014. But, we didn't get that. Don't get me wrong. I still love 2014 Godzilla. But, if I'm going to compare to this thing, to that, I actually want this Godzilla than, than the Godzilla that goes out there and fights monsters. Don't get me wrong. I love that Godzilla. I grew up with that Godzilla. I will always cherish that Godzilla. But this Godzilla is more scarier. More badass, more threatening, and more just awesomeness. That's all I have to say. This is the Skull Clown signing off. Have a good day, and if you haven't watched this movie, watch it! It's so good. So, so good. Thank you, guys. This is the Skull Clown signing off. Have a nice day. That was fun. Now it's time to review Ghostbusters 1 and 2 or Leap Day. Hmm. Huh? Fuck men. <sighs> Fuck men? I mean, how could it say that? Fuck men. I mean, what is this movie? 
No. No, 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 no. No, no. I, I can't review this. I can't. No. I can't review this. No. <laughs> no. Fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, I refuse. I said I would not review this.